you are new. Hi, my name is Ashlyn. I am so excited to read this series. If you guys have been subscribed here for a little bit, you've heard me talk about the Inheritance Game series a few times. This is a trilogy. The first one we're going to be reading is the Inheritance Games. Basically, my understanding of this series is there is a girl, what's her name? There's a girl named Avery and there are so many puzzles and different games that she has to play. She is a junior in high school and she basically gets news that she has received a billionaire's inheritance and she has never met this guy before never heard of him it's weird because he has grandsons and children they didn't receive all of the inheritance they're just like who is this avery girl they are so confused on who she is because she has never been prevalent in their lives that is a synopsis of the book i did start the inheritance games last night but i just started it to help me fall asleep so i am only 18 pages in i'm not really that far at all but we are going to be doing a inheritance games reading vlog and i'm so excited let's go ahead and start reading i don't usually cry at all but wow is it always close ranging from a movie scene to main of people in my dreams the last time if i recall was a feeling of being alone i don't know if where i'm good morning you guys i am riding passenger princess this morning it is technically our first day of doing this challenge yesterday i didn't read much at all we kind of had like a date day we watched some movies and yeah i didn't read that much so today is like officially the first day where i'm going to be doing a lot of reading the inheritance games but of course i have to go get coffee first if there's one thing that you guys should know about me is that i always have coffee in my hand just think ashlyn coffee and that's me right now in the inheritance games where i'm at i am not far at all avery has just gotten to the mansion and this is all spoiler free by the way so what i'm telling you is like gonna be obvious so Avery just got to the mansion and she's meeting some of the family of the billionaire so far that's pretty much all that I've learned Nice. <laughs> <laughs> now we've secured the Starbucks and let's go home and start reading the inheritance games set of keys like a ring of keys there are like a hundred of them she basically has to find the one that will open the door and it's kind of it's really cool just seeing how she logically gets to her conclusion of which key is the key that will open the front door it's really good so far i was so shocked at certain points like there is i think I have underlined a couple of things. There's one thing that if I read it will give something away. I kind of liked this one quote. I thought it was good. This felt like a cruel joke, like the universe's way of tricking me into wanting things that girls like me were never meant to. And I just kind of liked that quote because this is like such a different world for her. It's super good so far. I feel like we've gone from zero to a hundred really quick and her whole world has just flipped upside down. So it's cool seeing her navigate that. Obviously the drama, the Hawthorne family is livid. So here we go. Here we freaking go.
page 110 and I have a few thoughts. So I am starting to think that I don't know why I kind of thought I don't know why I kind of assumed that this would be like super fast paced, like we would be hopping right into the riddles, which we kind of are already. I thought the first book we would solve like the main mystery and then the second book would be something different and so on and so forth. But now I am thinking it's gonna take us the whole series to get the answer to why Avery? I just thought that was interesting. I'll let you know as I continue reading. Hi guys, good morning. It is the next day. So I've been editing for about the past three hours and I decided I wanted to take a break and read for a little bit. So I wanted to share with you where I am at. I made it to page 136 yesterday. I'm enjoying it. I would say I'm not like obsessed with it at the moment. I'm going to keep going because there is a lot of hype around this series. So I, I, I don't hate it. It's kind of just a vibe right now. Like we're just vibing right now and yeah. <laughs> on storefront I got like a 60 pack of tabs slash bookmarks so let's see we have oh, stop these are stunning I've got this color of tabs I love this palette it's just that's so beautiful I've got all purples these are the last three so it comes with a ton on. I love these. I actually want to try these out on the inheritance games. this one. I pretty much just tabbed a lot of the banter between some of the characters because I thought it was super funny and really witty. Also, there's some really cute things that was said between like some of the characters and I just thought it was quite adorable. Where I'm at with this book. So initially when I finished it, I will put my reaction right here. What? <laughs> That's how it ends? What? <laughs> Oh my gosh. Um, this is like a huge spoiler, so. What on earth? I was like, what the heck? It totally sets up like a different storyline for what the second book is gonna be about, which I think is really cool because when I was in the middle of reading this one, I was like, is the whole series gonna be them trying to figure this out? Or is it just gonna be the first book? I never would have guessed the plot twist at the end. That was so good. A lot of the plot twists I did not see. There were a couple of riddles where I was like, oh, 
yeah, okay, I see that. And then they would catch it like immediately right after that. So the riddles, I was kind of just going along, like reading along with it, not really trying to figure anything out. So for me personally, I thought the first like, it was weird. Some of it would be really fast paced and then it would kind of slow down and then get fast paced again. I didn't mind that because I knew at the end she was, well, I guess I was hopeful that at the end she was gonna give us something really good and she did. My heart was racing so much at the end. Like I was so scared, especially when Avery is alone during the last clue or like they're close to the last clue my heart was racing when she heard the footsteps especially when figure out who the footsteps were from that scared me i would give this book i think right now like hmm, i think i would give it four four and a half stars just because i really did like it i think four stars is a great rating because i loved it i don't know why i thought the riddles and the clues and the traps were going to be like a constant just fast paced is happening like every single day they are having a hundred new traps i don't know why i just thought it was going to be much more fast paced in that regard but instead they kind of spent time on certain clues and riddles they would spend what felt like days on one riddle so that was one thing i wasn't expecting was how long it would take per riddle okay her security guard or yeah security guard he is one of my favorite characters ever. I want to read to you guys one thing that I tabbed because um, I just thought it was so good. My hands are shaking. Orin, the security guard, steadied them. His eyes knowing, he lifted my teacup to his own mouth and took a drink. It's fine. He's showing me that it's fine. Like, it's so cool that immediately as she becomes the heiress, it's cool that how Orin just like steps up to her and he's just like, okay, like, I am now your security guard. And I just thought that was so cool. Like his loyalty to Mr. Hawthorne and how that transfers over to Avery. I don't know why I thought that was so cool. I really liked that relationship there between them. I thought that was cute. And then the Hawthorne brothers, which is <laughs> kind of funny because I didn't know that much about the Inheritance Game series going into this. I didn't want anything spoiled to me on accident, so I didn't do much research beforehand. But there are four brothers and there is a love triangle. I really like Jameson because he was actually like nice to Avery, but I also felt like he had some, I don't know, his intentions seemed a little off. My favorite brother at the end was Grayson, just because he really seemed like he was more genuine. Nash, he's just there, um, doesn't really want to be. And then there's Xander, who's just like adorable and he's just fun. And Jameson is really involved in the riddles in the game. He always has been since they were kids. He was the one who like really took it seriously. And Grayson is just loves his family so much he would kill for his family so he just has all of his walls up because he thinks that avery is a con woman and just out for their money i'm team grayson right now so the ending of this book really sets up the next book and the plot twists are they were so good so good i feel like she did such a good job with this book especially really making a scene intense. I thought she did a great job. Like I was really, my eyes were glued to the page. I was stressed and I don't know. I feel like she really captured my attention. And so the ending just kept getting like crazier and crazier. I thought a few things as to why she was chosen to be the heiress, but this was not one that I guessed. The one that we got the answer to was not it. And then it's like the epilogue, there's even more, which is crazy, like so insane. Once you think you've got your answer, there's always more. I am super excited to continue reading. I am going to go grab coffee with a friend and chat and just catch up with her. And once I come back, we will start on the second book. Hi guys. Okay, I am back home. I had so much fun with my friend. So now it is 2.34. I have to leave in like... <clears throat> Choked on my food earlier and I felt it up in my sinuses and it just came back down. Okay, so now I am starting the ha ha the Hawthorne Legacy. Look, I switched out my bookmark with this color.
color palette. I'm trying to get them to match so it'll look like super pretty with the cover. So I'm really excited, but okay, I literally read the first sentence and so in my review of the first book, I had said that it felt like it was taking longer for them, like they're spending more time on clues and I thought it would be like rapid speed. They had a new clue all the time. I literally was reading the first page and turns out that all of that stuff that happened in the first book happened within a month. For some reason, it felt like it took longer than that. So I guess it was happening really fast. Anyway, I'm really excited to read this. I read the first page and it's already adorable because Jameson and Avery are just jumping right into it. Like it has started immediately. I'm really excited to keep reading. <laughs> exactly where we've left off. I'm on chapter four. I just wanted to update you guys with where I'm at, how I'm feeling. It's kind of cool because they're saying she's basically is like the Cinderella character of this whole story. You know, she came from nothing and now has inherited all this money. So for the media, they're like, you really need to play this up. Like you need to be the Cinderella character. What would Cinderella look like if this was her first time experiencing these things. So she owns the NFL, what is the team? The Lone Star? So I kind of made a fool of myself. Um, it's no big deal. I'm going to leave it in because that's transparency. And you know, maybe, okay, there's a joke that was in the book and clearly it went right over my head. And I <laughs> just want to share and prepare you guys for what you're about to see. Listen, I read books. I don't watch football. I love football, but I don't know anything about football. Well, other than the basics. Remember, I do book reviews, not football reviews. So, keep that in mind. Texas? Cowboys? Yeah. Ah, is that Lone Star? Lone Star State. Lone Star State? What's that mean? You mean the Dallas Cowboys? Because Texas is called the Lone Star State. Yeah. But there's no football team unless it's like a college team or... No, it's NFL. She said, go Lone Stars. Oh, Maybe she got wait. it wrong. Maybe she thought they were called Lone Stars, but they're really... Oh yeah, she told her to yell, go Lone Stars. So what, whatever that means. I don't know, wait, was that supposed to be like funny? Was she telling her to say that because Cinderella wouldn't know? Yeah. That's good. It's so funny because they're just like, what would Cinderella wear to an NFL football game? Because they want the media to really capture it to be, so everyone will be like, oh, this girl, like she really has the, Cinderella story like it good it looks good for publicity that's kind of funny because she's just like playing the part right now and she doesn't love it Thank you. 
so far it is just like super fast paced and it picks up immediately where the first one left off so i am really into it especially like the plot twists are always so good the answers to the clues are so good and right now you find out something that is huge and very prevalent to the storyline of the first book but it's also just like hard hitter answer it's just so funny how you are played like all throughout the first book and this book and you're like oh this could be it no this could be it and then you get the answer and i was not expecting this like this is just crazy so right now they are going through the grandfather mr hawthorne they're going through his will and they are checking the original will that he had written like 20 years prior so they're trying to get some clues from that which is really interesting i feel as though i just want to keep reading like i can't put it down and i think a part of that is because the chapters are so short it's kind of motivating honestly i am on page 210 chapter 54 this book is crazy it is getting so crazy it's so good i think I mean, it's completely different from the first book, so it's hard to compare them, but I think I am enjoying this one more. I like the clues more, I like the mystery more, and the storyline, so I am really enjoying this one. I'm going to continue getting back to it and hopefully finish it maybe today. We'll see. You guys, this just keeps getting crazier and crazier. I'm on chapter 59, but the past like three chapters have just been so crazy. The plot has just gotten, <sighs> the plot has intensified, thickened, all of those words. I can't believe this. How everything is just so intertwined is so crazy. Ah, it just keeps getting crazier and crazier. Oh my gosh, I can't even right now she just talked to mrs lachlan lawlin wait what is her name lachlan lawlin in the kitchen and she was sharing with her like her findings as of right now this is so good i am really enjoying the second one so far and this is the one that i thought i would enjoy the least because it's the hawthorne legacy is the title of it and for some reason that didn't sound very intriguing to me but i am loving it so i'm gonna keep on going we are on page 228. <laughs> oh my gosh, what on earth? Okay, bookmark, bookmark, bookmark. We need to talk. Okay, I am on page 247. I just read chapter 63. Oh my gosh, I am obsessed with this second one. Like, it is so so good where i'm at right now avery is in an interview grayson is alongside with her during this interview they had like gone through practice on how to handle certain things that the interviewer might say so they finally get to the actual interview and a question is asked that just like really stirs the pot and i love grayson's reaction and we all know I am team Grayson at the moment. I did not expect this to happen though. <laughs> okay, I gotta keep reading. This is crazy. It's so easy to read a book fast when it's one that you love. 
time to get back to it. You can't trust anyone in these, in these books. You can't trust anyone. I'm gonna finish this today. I started it basically today. I'm gonna finish it today. Dude, it has been literally like a minute since I just updated you guys and more has happened. More has happened. Okay, oh my gosh. Poor Avery, she can't catch a break. Oh my god! <gasps> what? This... This book keeps getting crazy! The plot twists are just... Legacy. <sighs> oh my gosh. This is one of my top books of all time. Like, it was so good. Definitely five stars. Five stars. I loved this one. I loved, like, the storyline so much better than the first one. I still love the first one, but I think the first one, you're really just like dipping your toes into the water. And I'm so, I'm so happy that I kept going because this one was unreal. As soon as you think you know what's going on, you don't. She keeps things so interesting. Look at how tabbed up we are on this one. This one, I didn't have as many cute quotes. It was still like mainly banter. I'm kind of sharing with you guys a quote from each book. Here's one that I think you'll like. I told you that I was considering a mission trip. I'm here to bring the love of God to these poor backward billionaires. It's an ugly job, but someone's got to do it. I thought that was hilarious. I ate this book up. It was unreal. It was so good. It had me on my toes on the edge of my seat i felt like i was going through constant roller coaster with this book there was one thing after the other they are still of course solving puzzles figuring out more of why the inheritance was left to her it's not even answered really in the first book like it's kind of a partial answer if that so this one explores that more but instead of uncovering the dark secrets of I feel the Hawthorne family, you still uncover those, but it intertwines with Avery and her life. Maybe a tragic and devastating way. Maybe not. I don't know. You'll have to read it and see. This was so freaking good. At the end of it, I was thinking, okay, am I team like Jameson now? Because you could tell that, I mean, he says it at the end his intentions with avery and so i'm like okay am i team jameson now but i i just feel like i'm 50 50 right now i'm team grayson but i also feel like he's just hurt like so hurt that he can't really love right now i think i know who she's gonna end up with but it just reminds me of the summer i turned pretty honestly the final gambit oh my gosh i can't believe we've like plowed through this series it is just so good so i am really excited to start this it says game on on the front which is i'm sure the stakes are very high i actually started it on my drive to go get coffee this morning and i love how this author just immediately jumps right back into everything and she recaps you on what you need a refresher on. But now starting this one, she has like six weeks left until she hits her one year mark of staying at the Hawthorne house, which means 
that is when she will officially receive the inheritance so i cannot imagine all of the stuff she's going to have to go through all the attempts on her life like just from the first two books i can't imagine what all they get into in this one i'm a little bit like scared for her that is all for my updates right now and i will update you guys here in a little bit hi guys okay so i am on page 83 chapter 21 and i'm like pretty I'm pretty proud of that. I feel like this series is so easy to just read so quickly because it's just so good. Yesterday when I was going to bed, I was kind of sad because I was like, I don't want to say goodbye to this series, which shows that it's a really good series. I am going to meet a friend for coffee like early afternoon. So I'm going to try and read as much as I can before then and then I'll come home and continue reading. But I'm not going to be too hard on myself if I don't finish it today. There is a new mystery that they're figuring out, but it's with a character that we have already met. Um, except there is one new character that we meet. I'm thinking Avery and Jameson might just be like a locked in couple. I don't know. That's gonna be my assumption right now. <laughs> love this because I kind of did fire colors so I think it's really cute Ow! <gasps> it turned out exactly how I wanted each book has a color theme I love it I love it I love it before we jump into my thoughts on the whole series I have to talk to you guys about the final gambit first so where do I even begin the final gambit was so freaking good after how much i loved the second one i was hoping that this one being the last one right now we would end it with a banger and it would live up to the second one this one wow so around page like 290 280 was when my review changed for this book so up until that point, this book was like a 4.5 stars for me. And then as soon as I hit that turning point where there was betrayal and just, it got, it got darker real quick. There was like some murder involved. The dark secrets that we were starting to really uncover bumped this up to a five, like so quickly for me. And I am so happy that it did because I wanted to love this book as much as I loved the second one. This last one, the stakes were so high and I just thought she wrapped it up so perfectly in how there are things that were discussed in the first book that came to play in the last book. Also, it was super fast paced, I felt. I felt like the games and the riddles and the puzzles just kept you playing along up until the last bit. There is a game that Avery is playing with the mystery man throughout this book and I felt like how the game ended was a little too easy in my opinion. I wanted the whole chapter to kind of draw it out and like your, I just wanted the intensity to build and I felt like that was just such a short chapter and it was over just like that. I wish that we could have taken that a little bit slower, um, but I still loved it and the things that I actually did mark towards the end are spoilers, but I marked them because they were, the spoilers were so good that I wanted to go back and just 
open up one of the tabs and like read one of the spoilers so that I could remember and keep it fresh on my mind. I actually liked how it didn't focus too much on the romance side of things. It was just a really great mystery thriller. But she also gave us the perfect amount of romance to where it just, it was all balanced so perfectly. I loved it. I wish in this one we would have gotten a little bit more from Max, who was Avery's best friend, and Libby. I feel like the first book, Libby was very present and then as the series goes on, you don't get as much Libby as we did before, which I love her, so I was really sad about that. But it also makes sense because her and Nash are kind of like in their own world. And I really like Nash too. I was a little bit skeptical of him throughout the series, but he's just a country boy. And he don't want nothing to do with all this money. He's just ready to go on and live his country boy life. Now for my thoughts overall for the Inheritance Games series. Okay. <laughs> this series was easily a five star series for me. It was so good. Although the first book, I think, did I think I gave it four stars, maybe four and a half. This one's five stars. My favorite still. This one's still my favorite. And then the last one was five stars too. These were just so good. I would recommend this series to anyone, really. I would actually recommend this to many people in my life. I think it will capture pretty much anyone's attention. And it's also fun. It's just a fun series to read. There is one thing that I would not recommend with this series. I would recommend not listening to this series through an audiobook because it really does demand your attention, especially if you want to make sure that you're getting all the clues. Because there were times that I was listening to audio version and I had missed some things, which is so easy, so I'd have to go back and I just felt like I wasn't getting as much out of it as if I was reading, which I know that's like most books, but especially for these, I think, because of the games and the puzzles and the riddles. Wish I could read it again for the first time, honestly. This is gonna be a reread for me, for sure. If you haven't read the Inheritance Game series, hopefully this encourages you to. I love you guys so much, and let me know if there is another series that you want me to do a reading vlog with because this was really fun and I think this was my first one that I've done. So yeah, I love you guys so much and I will see you in my next video.